Today we'll be talking about Hazuki Yusa, so let's get started. You know the drill. Hazuki Yusa is a 15-year-old support type magical girl. She is 175 centimeters in height and her eyes and hair are both yellow. She comes from Senkyo Ward in Kamehama City. Her soul gem is a yellow 5-point azalea flower located under her chest of her magical girl farm. Her weapon are two hook swords. A hook sword is a Chinese weapon traditionally associated with northern styles of Chinese martial arts and wushu weapons routines, also known now protected by southern styles as well. This weapon originates in the Song Dynasty. Her wish to be a magical girl was to erase the memories of the orphanage she lived at with her magical girl partners when they were young. I want to erase the memories I live in. Her witch and doppel is Taki too, and she attends Shigoyan Educational Academy in the ninth grade. Her magical girl element is the light element and her ability is body scan. Initially understand the strong and weak points. Magical girl raised in the orphanage, the Izele house took her in after an accident on a family trip claimed her parents. Despite her tragic childhood, her personality is bright and cheery, and she's talented at getting along with anyone. The Doppel of Requital Its form is a storehouse. The Doppel represents Requital. The master of this emotion never forgets the payback she is to intact on those who she resents. This doppel is part of the Fox Trinity and is professionate in protection and support. During this doppel's emergence, it fixes his master in place and uses her as a decoy. Any superhuman strength is like that of a mere infant before it. Should anyone thoughtlessly attempt to attack its master, it will capture them with its boulder-like palms and trap them inside its body, as well as occasionally forcing them to sign deeds that lock them into inconfident contracts. Hazuki Konoha Suzumi and Amane Mikari meet the team of Nakakatira, Megnuri Chan, Akira Shinobu, and Koko Natsume in the restaurant. Nanaka asks Hazuki why she called the meeting. Hazuki says that she would like to figure out what happens if both of their teams fight a witch. Megnuri says it should be first come, first served. And whoever defeats the witch fights first gets the grief seed. Kako is bothered by this, but Nanaka says the idea it has a merit. Minui finishes by saying that whoever the witch appears before first fights it, and others don't interfere. Hasuki points out that someone could have to decide who comes first, and that it seems like it would cause a lot of disputes. Hazuki asks Amane what she thinks, and Amane suggests that they resolve the disputes with rock, paper, scissors. Minui says there is no time to play a game on the battlefield, but Hazuki suggests trying it would right now. Amane ends up playing with Minui, and Amane chooses paper, while Minui picks scissors. However, Minui then uses a martial arts technique to change Amane's hand to paper. 
Both group erupt into an argument. Hazuki tells everyone to calm down and go home for the day. The girls agree and leave. Hazuki mutes about N Naka. The next day, the girls meet at a restaurant again. Hazuki continues to discuss from earlier and suggests that everyone who participates in a fight against a witch gets the right to the grief seed. Specifically, anyone who uses magic in a fight against a witch gains potential rights to the grief seed. Both teams agree to this proposal. Hazuki then says she has another suggestion. She, uh, she explains that she'll like everyone to help to gather data by having both teams hunt a witch together. After some discussion, Amane and Kako are put into one team, and Hazuki, Akia, and Manui are, will be in another. Konoha and Naika will stand by and help when necessary. Hazuki says she looks forward to working with the others the next day. Nanaka agrees. Hazuki's group leaves. Nanaka asks for her team what they think of the other group. Manui says she can't read Konoha. Amane is exactly what she seems to be, and Hazuki is adept at everything. Kaka says Hazuki is so, so kind. The girls didn't leave. On a later day, Hazuki and Nanaka meet at the restaurant alone. It's revealed that the girls put Hazuki's plan into action earlier. Kako and Amane have found the witch, and then both groups defeated it. Nanaka says her group was impressed with the teamwork of Hazuki's team, but Nanaka herself was more impressed with Hazuki's modus operandi. Nanaka explains she believes Hazuki manipulated the entire situation when their teams met in the restaurant. Nanaka believes that the current result is what Hazuki wanted them from the start. Nanaka says she called this meeting before. She wanted to understand why Hazuki manipulated everyone. Hazuki says she didn't lure anyone into anything. However, she says that Konoha has an introverted personality. Hazuki says she wants Konoha to get along with other people. Hazuki reveals that after both groups fought with the witch, Konoha seemed like she was enjoying it. Hazuki says she just wanted her group to have the connections to other Kamehama Magical Girls, and she is happy everything turned out alright. Nanaka agrees and says she is glad to work with Hazuki. Later, Hazuki writes in her notebook that Nanaka is a steward but a fascinating individual. Hazuki then writes that she will continue to contact other Magical Girls. Her ability is called a body scan. This could mean that Hazuki can identify strong and weak points to attack her enemies. Her first name Hazuki means leaf and moon, and her last name Yusa means to play and sun, respectfully. Fact 1, her illustrator is Yugen, who is also the illustrator for Konoha Shizume and Aname Miyuki. Fact 2, her doppel is named after Takohitsu Hime, one of three sister goddesses created by Atomarasu and Suzano. As is known to be part of the Kitsune Ken, it likely represents the village head. Her sisters, Konoha and Ayame, have doppels named after the two other sisters in the trifecta. Factory, her Japanese voice actor is Haruka Harishimura, who you may know for voicing as Yuko Maze in Saki the Nationals, Koko Kemanaga in Riddle Story of Devil, Yui Nase in Go Princess Pretty Cure. Mia in Jewel Pet, Magical Change, Mika Jugasaki from the Idol Master series, and Nakatano in Princess Connect and We Drive version with a bunch of more other worlds. And that was Hazuki Yusa. Next time we're gonna go over Imani Mikari, so see you then.